ahead and get started. So I am about to play the second league of the day. I am testing for SCG Regionals, and the two decks I'm considering are both Arclight and Humans. I played Arclight last league. It was pretty good. Should have four ones, but got moto bugged in out of it. Um, and 3 2 only losing to Dredge, which I think is probably the nightmare matchup for Arclight, and one of the reasons why Dredge is so good in the format right now. But I am about to play some humans, and I think this is the this is the only other deck I would consider for the tournament, given my not just my range, but what I think is actually good in modern right now. So this is the list from Dylan Hand's article. So once again, I'm not going to talk too much about it. If you want to learn more about it, go check out his article on StarCityGames.com. I believe it went live either yesterday or today. So it should be pretty easy to find. Um, I believe it just says, like, updating humans for... Um, what does it say? Updating humans for SCG regionals. Um, so it should be nice and easy to find. Uh, and... Yeah, so I'm gonna use his list, his sideboard guide. He's done. He's put in more legwork for humans than I have in the last couple months. I've been doing a lot of testing for both standard and legacy. So I haven't really had the time to put into modern with how Phoenix warped it's gotten. So I'm just gonna kind of trust him with what he's doing. And Cussing Malcontent seems aggressive, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, a bunch of the changes they're worth noting. Fourth Alias, I think is still good, very good against both Dredge and Dark Light. So I'm not surprised to see that. Kaiso Freebooter, still a three of. Not really a huge fan of that card. Has the mana base I've liked for a long time. Uh, the custom Alex Fencer for Bugler, like I said, I really like Bugler against Phoenix, so I'm interested to see. I think this card is actually bad against Phoenix, and Bugler is good, so we'll see um, how that plays out. For Arak Champion, I like Dredge has really picked up a lot. Arak Champion is the best card against Dredge, Just, like play a billion of them. Deputy Detention is good against both Arc Light and against um, what's it called? Against Dredge, I think. So I'm pretty happy to have three of these. I suggested Dylan play two, I believe, at Baltimore or whatever, and he really liked them, so. I think he only played one. He ended up only playing one. But, like, I suggest he plays two, and, like, he really likes enough that he wants three now. So, three Damping Sphere, three Deputy Detention. This is a pretty aggressive sideboard. Just, like, a bunch of three ofs. We really want the cards we want and a four of. Uh, not the bottom still for Burn and all the other various matchups it's good against. Also pretty good at blowing up artifacts or enchantments, which are actually also picking up as well. Uh, Cabal. I'm not a huge fan of this card, but... Whatever, Dylan likes it. We're going to try it. We're going to give it a shot. Sin Collector I like a lot right now. It's really good against Phoenix. I think it's better than Kamala's against Phoenix by a large margin. And I'm pretty happy to have that card in my deck. And last but not least, Dismember kills, like, um, thing in the ice. So, a lot of these choices make sense. Let's play some Magic. Boop. Dylan is a smart and thin individual. And a good friend of mine. I've liked this. this yeah, yeah, yeah. I read this already. Play a league match. Let's play some magics. Boop. I'm receiving so many words. <laughs> All right. We are about to claim our first victim. Go on Twitter and retweet Team Nova. They're nice enough to tweet out my clip. Retweet. Excellent. All right. Blech. I don't think I've ever seen this hand in the entirety of my time playing humans, and I have no idea if I'm supposed to keep it or not. On the draw, it's pretty tempting. Just like, all right, what does this do? It goes, if I, assuming I draw a land on my first draw step, which would make me want to die, but assuming I draw a land, we go champion, noble, noble, attack for five. Run the draw. Come on, come on, run the draw. I'm here to try this. The be easy. The old trusty, please don't have a bolt. Oh God. Ink moth nexus. That cannot be good. Ding. I want to die. <laughs> Fuck. Human. Because of, because of the context of her hand, I'm actually just going to lead on Champion of the Parish. We're not short on mana at all, but we are short on damage, and human uh, Champion does damage. So, it's really weird leading on Champion over Noble, but, like, it gives me another... It lets me use my mana efficiently while giving myself another turn to draw a real spell. We're playing as Infect. God, we are so dead. Not having... Not having... Is it Staticaster in this matchup? Oh, wow. Well. I was going to say something really dumb about not having... Is it Staticaster in this matchup, but, like, this card's really good. Sounds like an next turn problem, though. Uh, 
Yeah, sure. I think it's the next turn problem. Right now we're racing. And we're winning the race. Boop. We're owning. We are owning. Because we're probably going to want to play this to block next turn. So, um, I think I want to do this. I think I still want to take this turn. Even though this is, like, probably the best card we could have drawn here. G Darwin 29. Thank you much for the follow. I appreciate it. The best. Kaizen. What's up, Kaizen? Can't draw more lands if you already have the ball. It's it's just a good plan. This is a keep. Abeth says it is a keep. All right, well, I believe you. I believe you. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so now I'm expecting to get hit for five poison here. We go to six poison, and then we have a blocker, which is nice. Yeah, here we go. That's five poison. So we're going to go to six poison, and then we're going to have a blocker. They might have a mutagenic when we make it for seven poison, but that's fine. It doesn't really change the math at all. All right, well, we drew a land. That's pretty unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll play this in case you draw. It has an image. Black this. Bloop. Bloop. Uncounterable. Uh, I don't really care. That guy. Or girl. Oh, no. Wait. They only have one pump spell. I will take it. I'll take the lot. All right, now they're on a two turn. This is pretty nice. But their hierarch lets them block, so I guess we're supposed to take the hit for two and hope they didn't top deck it. Like, here's the question. The real question here is, we took their might of Volcrosa, right? God, this is why Infect is so stupid to play against. So we know these cards. We know these four cards. Boop. We know these four. Um, they now have three cards we don't know about. Do we say no blocks, take two poison, go to eight, and die to any pump spell they would have top decked? Or do we say no blocks and try to live another turn letting them jump block? person is in my way. If we draw Reflector Mage, it doesn't no matter what. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? No blocks, all glory. Sebastian, what's up? Medley Mage from the top. Come on, no kidding. G Darwin and Scape Shift. What about Scape Shift? This many lands without being a single campy is a tilt. No blocks, all glory? No blocks, all glory. No blocks. Kill me. I need to die. No! They top decked a pump spell. That sucks. All right. Well, I think we played pretty well. I think I think that's a calculated no blocks. <laughs> Damn it! All right. Well, that's a that's a nice way to start this out. In fact, anywhere on this sideboard, guy, I just got a follow. King Mudkip seven to one. Thank you much for the follow. I appreciate it the best. Uh, yeah, in fact, not shocking. Let's see if I have it on my old sideboard guide. I don't remember what we're supposed to cut. And minimal thinking sounds nice to me. Humans. Humans. Oh, man. It has been a long time since in fact was playable. All right, well, maybe not. I thought I had it on a sideboard guide somewhere. I had a, like, sideboard against this. Oh, well, I guess I'm just wrong. All right, well, what, do I have a minute to figure it out? <sighs> Whatever. Melee Mage is great, I remember that. Um, this card is, like, mediocre. I think Deputy Attention has to be good. This member is obviously good. Boop, boop. I don't know if I want, like, Sin Collector. Just kind of mediocre. OMG. No kidding. Yeah, we would have drawn the freaking Reflector Mage. I suck. Unplayable. Kind of see Malcontents is nice. I feel like it helps us race. This blocks well. This is nice. Question is, what is our role in the matchup? How much crap are we trying to answer? Like, I have Reflector Mages. I have Deputies. Like, all of this is, like, good. It's all three mana. Three mana is a lot of mana. 
Maybe we just, like, maybe the secret is we just don't want this. Like, this might just be worse than Static Asher by such a margin that, like, this is better. And we secretly want, like, just like this. We're not going to race. So if we're not going to race, Mantis Rider sucks. Boop. Like, we do need to kill them, but we're not going to race them. That might just mean Casting Malcontents is worse than Mantis Rider. This is like a weird way of sideboarding. Ugh. Where was this in last game? <laughs> oh no! <sighs> so close. We can just melding mage the stupid thing if we had a second land. Yeah, I have to convincingly mulligan this. And now I feel kind of dumb for this not being a removal spell creature. Keep. Opponent is mold to six. Don't think I want that. Goodbye. We have a hierarch for that. Boop. Human. Okay. We still have the, the combo, also known as turn two meddling mage, the uh, the blinded agent. It's a good combo. It's powerful. Cut lieutenant. I like lieutenant, right? Is it just cheaper? Oh, they're on this plane again. All right. Worked so well last time. We also had a billion lands. Oh, no. Are we supposed to name human still? I think we are. Yeah. I'm going to feel dumb if I draw that stupid Vidalcan duder. Um, blue, white. <sighs> Meddling mage. We're going to name Blighted Agent. Okay. Name the best card in the matchup. Now I feel pretty good. We might actually be able to race. Like, multiple casting Malcontent seems pretty nice. We just, like, nug him for three. How quick do we race with this hand? I don't know. Kites a Freebooter? Seems kind of good. Uh... Kites Freebooter. Kind of wish I drew a land, but that's okay. Gonna be a little man inefficient here. Start taking some of their spells. Hopefully, like dismember and stuff. And then hit them for three. Oh wow, that is like a lot of stuff. We're gonna take vines. Gosh, what do I wanna do? I could take groundswell. Vine seems pretty hard to cast right now. Well, the vine skills image, so is this. We should have maybe cut an image. Uh, do, 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 do. Take vines. I'm drawing a removal spell. I feel dumb for not taking vines, so I'm going to take vines. And we now have a blocker in the form of Kaizo Freebooter. When they have... No real good attacks. Well, they have good attacks, but you get the idea. I'm going to block. Boop. Okay. I'm definitely, definitely okay with this. Tilt? <laughs> uh. White. One. Three values of it. <laughs> it's just conceded. Why? My 1-2 is so powerful. All right, put this card back in my deck. Put this card in my deck. Um, all these things are a billion mana. I don't want things that are a billion mana in my deck. What do you guys have to say? So many words. Uh, I'm very bad at magic. Would it be in a frenzy, white weedy? Yikes. Yikes! Oh, Deputy is so, 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 so much worse than, uh... I'll, I'll think about it eventually. Then, is it Static Caster? So much harder to cast. Alright, we're just gonna go up to... 
10 three drops. Hope that's fine. We're going to have a billion things that cost three mana. Here's a billion lands again. Essentially a four land hand, but it has it has deputy detention with a vial. It seems kind of nice. We're going to die to this stupid Glistener Elf. Yep. All right, well, let's die. This is fine. Kill me on turn two. I need to die. I have not died enough. Kill me. Groundswell, groundswell, mutagenic, dead. Shock. Oh, fuck. That's pretty bad. All right, well, taking one poison is nice. But this blighted agent is going to basically never die. Yes. Another land is pretty bad. Uh, so we can play this name human. Uh, let's put this in. Yes, put this in. Name human here. This allows us to cast Mantis Rider or Deputy next turn. What was yield? All right, well, hopefully this will keep us alive. I am going to block, I think. I want to make them use their mana, so I think I'm going to block, and I'm going to try to exile this key. Yeah, chilled. Well, now we're going to hit for a billion. I do not like getting hit for a billion. Ooh, okay. Yup. Two drop, one drop, tilt. Boop. White, blue, another play deputy of detention. All right, take this thing. Give me that. Uh. <sighs> We're just like a land away from dying, right? In that case, I should just attack. Gosh, this attack feels terrible. Uh, da, 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 da. Sure. We're gonna have to get pretty, pretty, pretty insanely lucky to win this. I think it's gonna involve drawing a flyer. Yup. Oh, damn, they have a second land too. No! All right, we're dead. We're super dead. Yep. Fun, interesting magic. I guess maybe I could have punted this match by just like punting that game one. That was that was kind of a lot to think about. So much talking about us. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I don't know that that like that block felt that no blocks felt fine. It probably had like a one in like. What do you think? A one in like four or five shot to kill me game one with that one draw step. So like one draw step to draw two. There was three of one of them left, four of another one to seven, and probably four of another one that actually kills me. So there's probably something like 11 cards of their, I assume like 50-ish to kill me. So it's probably like one in four point something to kill me game one. Felt pretty, felt pretty like close. Don't feel too bad dying to it though. It happens. These things happen. We got, we got Dursty. Devo Blue Nose. All right, Devo Blue Nose. His hands have been awkward all night. Seems fine, though. If they're not playing creatures, I'm probably dead. I'm going to play Hierarch on turn one in case they have a Mana Dork. Um, the convincing argument for keeping this hand is that it's, like I think, pretty good against Arclight. Mulligan to six. Like, I think Reflector Mage is one of your best cards against Arclight, so I think I really want to keep this. Unfortunately, the, like, one drops aren't very good against Arclight because they just get gut shot and you feel like a small brain clown. Oop. But in case they're a Mana Dark deck, we want to have, we want to be able to Reflector Mage on two. 
Oh, what is this? Is this burn? Sure. Search for tomorrow. Oh, well, crap. That's bad. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's pay one, play this. What the heck? All right, black, black, make all the black mana. Play this thing. Uh, you. Oh, these yields. Ooh. Take your thing. What you got? Show me stuff. Whiff. Whiff. What kind of keep is this? Would I keep this on six? I probably would. I have... Jeez. All right, you got me. Ha, ha, ha. Fine. They might just die to this. Actually, just kidding. We probably can't win this game in a million years. Melee Mage would be nice. We can Melee Mage and search for tomorrow. And they just have, like, red mana. Watch them draw, like, another search or whatever. Just, like, something, like, great. Blech, puke. Good card. Either row. Well, that does not count as a good card. Uh, do I name him with this? Second name Illusion. Don't care. Human. Either well. Let's play. Reflector Mage, just to further the clock, my check out my, I don't know, Grey Ogre. It's basically functionally a Grey Ogre, since the extra plane of toughness doesn't matter in this matchup. It is functionally equivalent to attack with one versus both. We're going to attack with both in case they draw a Lightning Bolt. Boom. They did not draw a Lightning Bolt. So we have six here. So that's pretty bad. Can we outrace this? We need to draw like a Thalys of the Thunder or something. Boop. A4 Sync. Do you see Dredge often online? Not often. I see it I see it a fair amount, but not often. Lol tight Titan Shift, yeah. Probably about to get bodied by it, to be honest. Because I'm not sure we can race it. Yep. Oh my god. They've drawn so poorly. All right. Well, they can't cast a Titan next turn, so as far as I know. We're going to hit him, and this, I think, puts him to eight, which leaves him dead on board. Oh, it puts him to seven? Yeah, because I grew the thing by one, sure. <sighs> Don't tase me, bro. What you got? You got a sack daddy? A sack father? <laughs> I do. Oh my gosh. Uh, we can still hit them for five, put them to two, then they get two play Titan and grab two lands and bolt two things. Mantis Shredder. Another land. Is another land what you wanted? Oh, good, because that's what you get. Yep. I am shocked at this block. They get a two. And they get to bolt bolts. They're still kind of dead, right? They look pretty dead. I guess they could draw, like, anger or something. I don't really know. So they play Titan here. Go up two mountains. Get two bolts. They get to block, bolt bolts. Oh, no, they bolt bolt. Oh, no, I just stuck with the flyer. Okay, never mind, never mind. I think we're fine. I think we are fine. My professional opinion says that we are fine. I am okay with all these things occurring right now. Oh, my gosh. This game was still absurdly close. We've drawn a lot of mana sources in this deck. And this is, like, why I like Bugler so much. Is like, if we draw all this, like, mana, like... I guess Kessig Malcontents would also be insane right here. Pick that off. Pick that off. That still kills you. I don't think there's any sequence of just two creatures you could pull off. Unless you have a Lightning Bolt. Do you have a Lightning Bolt? Nope. 
right, we're gonna say lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. All right. We done here? We done? I win. I'm owning. All right, Titan Shift, the old Valakut. Is that on Doolin's sideboard guide? Let's find out. Shadow Phoenix, Dredge, Humans, Titan, Amulet Titan, Hardened Scales, Hollow One. Hollow One? Nobody plays a deck. We're in Prison, Storm, Selesny, Hexproof, Fat Nauseam. Tilt. We had Boggles on there? Boggles. Why is Boggles in this deck? All right, well, let's see. Sin Collector, I think, is good. The attention seems okay. Comball seems poor. Hmm. I do not feel terribly well equipped for this matchup. I think I'm gonna. God, Deputy is just like a worse piece of aggression than uh, Reflector Mage is. Reflector Mage is pretty bad. I want to get them out of my deck, but don't know how. So push, I was just gonna just put Cabal in my deck if they don't have specific like a sweeper like kind of pressures then. It's not good. It's not good. I won't lie to you guys. We are going to get some balls eat. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's gonna be fine. This is everything is gonna be fine. We're not gonna get bolted to death. We're not gonna die to some titties. Some big titties grabbing multiple giant mountains. Um, sand seems utterly fantastic. I'm keeping. Cabal seems fine. Cork, yep. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it's great, though. Like, it just seems super mediocre. That's why you like Sin Collector more. Sin Collector is, like, actually pretty good, usually. Shock. Because it takes the uh, it takes the angers post board. They usually, like, want to keep hands with, like, a billion angers, and it just takes them. And it's nice. And if they have a split with Sweltering Suns, you don't care. Because you just take it. Oh, man. Okay. Verde. Verde is Spanish for green. Make that color, man. Go. Whereas, like, Cabal just, like, gets picked up by the uh, the Sweeper and, like, deals them two damage. Okay. That seems significantly and noticeably worse. This is probably going to get Lightning Bolted. And then I'm going to hate myself. Yep. Uh, probably going to just melee me to name Eager the Gods. They're all basically all playing Eager the Gods now, so. Oop. Actually, I could name Search for tomorrow. That's kind of nice. Is that, is that nice? How nice is that? That's nice. You get to Stone Rain them? A 2 mana creature that Stone Rains them seems really nice. Search for tomorrow. Boop. Like, if, like, I guess it's, like, maybe that's, like, a toxic way of thinking about it. Well, not toxic, but the wrong way of thinking about it. But I'm kind of thinking, like, a creature that, like, a two... I would play a two-mana creature that could stone right in the mirror over a meddling mage naming Anger the Gods. So I just don't care if they anger this. Corsair, that is fine. I should have brought in Knight of Autumn, I guess. Oh, I could play my own Corsair. Is that, is that nice? I could play lands off the top of my deck. Is this a human? It's just a centaur. What kind of flavor is that? Make it a human horse. That'd be sick. Um, what if I play Aether Vial? And just like try to like ramp up to playing multiple Thalia's Lieutenants? It's a plan. Yeah, they're not really doing much. They're not really doing much. Let's just play this, and we're going to, like, try to, like, set up multiple Thalys Lieutenants. I think that's the best way to beat a 4-toughness creature as well as 3-damage sleepers here. That is not a land. You might... The probably best way to play Corsair here is to just, like, fetch and, like, always be searching for stuff. Okay, so we know about... We know about a mountain in their hand, which they just played. And we know about a Primeval Titan. So if we have to Medley Mage naming the Primeval Titan, we can. This attack seems egregious. Unless they just have, like, another Corsair. Should be kind of funny. Okay, I don't really get this attack. Yes. Thalia. What does Thalia do? 
Is Thalia doing anything? I don't think Thalia accomplishes anything. I'm gonna just make a Belly Mage now and name Primeval Titan. Oh, I can't. God, I'm dumb. This is the wrong basic. Maybe we'll split Thalia then. It seems poor. We're gonna do it. Two for one me! I have not been two for one enough. Two for one me. Go. I don't see them ramping end steps, so they have a primeval titan I know about that they can now play next turn. Definitively next turn. Um, we can make all our creatures survive bolts, though, which is pretty sweet. Except Thalia. Thalia will not survive bolts. Uh, maybe we just don't care. Yes. Medley Mage. Welcome to the end of Paris. All right. This is tough. What do you think, chat? Flavor is that? <laughs> Be a human horse? Yeah, it is a human horse. That's what I'm talking about. It feels good. It tastes good. It must be mine. Hmm. Did they play Anger the Gods last turn if they had it? I don't know the answer to that question. Let's name Prime Evil Titan. Okay. Uh, nothing. I have nothing. I have no effects. Go. Just go. They have a far seek on top, so they can gain some life. I think I was a little worried if they sweep me, I just feel kind of dumb. I'm going to set up for some big attacks, though. What is this? A ramp spell? Anger the gods. Damn, should have named Anger the Gods. Well, maybe we can respond here. Alright, we're about it. We're going to respond. Make one of these. Name Anger. They scared me. They scared me by tapping three mana. We're going to try to get them. Get them with the got them. All right, there you go. You gained life. Now, watch me get Sweltering Suns. I'm going to feel so dumb if I get Sweltering Suns. Go to combat. All right, that's fine. We're also at 18, which kind of sucks. We could die to Escape Shift here. Uh... Yeah, why not? We'll... Gosh, this feels dumb. Sure. Oh my gosh, this is so many. Here's one of these things. Here's one of these things. Uh, so you can now not kill my melee mages. So let's go to combat. And attack with them. And we'll stop on their draw step. Stop on the photo's turn. And we're going to try to take. Yup, you got it. We're going to try to take a scape shift. Alright, what's up? Net jogging. Can you violin Metal Mage with a real spell in the stack and stop the spell? No, you cannot, because it is already cast. It is already. This stops you from casting it. See, chosen name can't be cast. And with it on the stack, it has already been cast. Little range, yeah, two thousand attempts puts out of range. Flame slash. It's on top of my opponent's library, right? So they've already drawn their card for turn. Uh, 
on your draw step. Activate this. Yes, this in. Oh, geez. Then always yield. I just want to yield. Always yield. All right, what do you have? You do have the escape shift. How nice. Nice! All right, I no longer wish to do this on your trust step. All right, so you have a flame slash for the one that has Pregnant Titan, so we have to make it a five toughness creature this turn in order to keep you from casting it. So we just are going to have to, or we'll have to make a melee mage somehow. I don't think we can do that. So I think you're gonna be able to cast stuff, which kind of sucks. All right, you draw land. Oh, well, that's pretty good. A barbecue chicken nugget. Thank you very much. I've never been followed by a barbecue chicken nugget before. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate your last. All right, well, let's put this one on the stack. And, uh, oh, I don't know. Put the yeah, sure, whatever. Activate this. Yes, put this in. Oh, bam! Target you. Kablooey. All right. I would like to right click attack with all. Is this game one? What game is this? I know we've already sideboarded. Did we win game one? I don't even remember. I think we did. Pretty sure we did. There you go, opponent. I have a bunch of creatures. Here's a billion creatures. Does that feel like a nice amount of creatures there? Feel like that might feel good. Like all these creatures. This is just infinity damage. Math is for blockers. And I did the math and you look dead. Bam! Two on Titan Shift. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, Titan Shift is supposed to be good against humans, and, like, I don't even think it's very good against humans. It's just, like, it doesn't feel like it's in a great spot. You're still doing very powerful things where you're just combo killing people on turn four, but, like, ironically, that's a lot of times not even good enough in Modern anymore. Which is a little stupid. The format's kind of out of control. There's a Titan Shift, not Amulet. That is correct. What makes Amulet a way worse matchup than Scape Shift? Net jogging? Um, the amount of EEs they get to play. So, Amulet gets to play a bunch of Engineered Explosives. They have access to a turn 2 kill. They can play a bunch of Engineered Explosives that they can tutor for. And they can also produce a billion mana and then play a big Walking Bliss so they can also tutor for. So, you can't just Melee Mage Engineered Explosives and call it a day because they get to just tutor up their Walking Bliss to shoot that down then tutor up Engineered Explosives and kill you. They're very, very good at Engineered explosives in you over and over and over and over and over until you die. Alright. Human. So... That is what makes, like, your house of cards is so much more fragile against uh, humans than it is against Titan Shift. Like, against Titan Shift, they have powerful cards, they have anger, and they have, like, Valka triggers. But, like, if you can, you can way easier stop just, like, melee mage name anger than, like, maybe take one of the other things from their hand and just, like, be in good shape. I kind of just want to slam a Mantis Raider here. That may be ridiculous, but I think I just want to slam a Mantis Raider here and go to town. So that's what I'm going to do. And light... I feel like this is a slam mantis rider and go to town matchup. And like, we'll worry about everything else later. We'll we'll just care about everything else once we're attacking for four every turn, at least. Get them on that five turn. Okay, Abzan, this makes a lot of sense. So we get to like take some of their removal spells and then like pump stuff up. This casting malcontents is really bad in this matchup. I am fine with this decay. Collective brutality? Discarding souls to shoot me to. Okay. That seems like a play you have made. Uh, blue, black. Play this thing. We're going to produce big flyers. Plan this game is pretty simple. We're going to make some flyers and they're going to be big. Take your magic cards. You have Liliana Last Dope. Yeah, I think we can safely take Liliana Last Dope. Oh, wow. What is this hand? Yeah, give me the last dope. Combats. Well, maybe I should have taken the Lingering Souls. If they miss on land, taking the Lingering Souls is going to be nice. Well, even if I don't, like, we can still just, like, follow his lieutenant, the Flyers, and we're in good shape. <laughs> they just conceded. <laughs> oh, no. Opponent, what went wrong? Tell me. Tell me what went wrong. 
you registered a fair deck and this is modern, so you died on turn two. Oh no. Alright, where is Jund? Where are you where are you at, Dylan? Where's your sideboard guide for Jund? What do you wanna do? Shadow Phoenix. I know it's on here. <laughs> Hard scales, Azorius, Chess Guy, Hollow One Spirits, John Golgari. You want to cut these? Yeah, like I said, this card is horrific in this matchup. Uh, boop. They get sweepers. Uh, we want some Deputy of Detentions. Things that kill Tarmogoyf. Things. Tarmogoyf and Tarmogoyf accessories. Things that answer that. John, never mind. Not Model Black. Bring in eight champs here. No, I do not. Shh. They have Path to Exile, so that's not great. Melee Mage, EE, -E, Ballista, and Titan. Easy game. Seems quite hard. I don't I don't like eight champs here. Where are you going, opponent? Come back! No, I think I think this is definitively Abzan. Uh this hand seems fine. Low land can hands are good against them, although we will get bodied by the pile of last hopes they play. No turn one play seems really sketchy. Oh man. Okay. Green this thing. Use this mana. Cool. Verde Day. Verde Day is Spanish for green. And they have pushed my noble hierarch. That's pretty rude. Do I want to play Thalia or two one drops? I think I want to play two one drops. Okay. Uh, white. Play this one. Especially because I'm looking to miss a land drop. It is nice to play Thalia though. This might be incorrect. And if it's incorrect, it's okay. Life will go on. But I want to be able to, like, deputy of attention if their hand is just, like, play Liliana, edict you. Like, this hand is much better against play Liliana, edict me. This hand is very good against no plays go. I quite like this hand in the position of no plays go. Alright, we're going to make sure this Dolly is uncounterable. Don't want don't want getting force of willed in this format. Alright, yeah. Now we have the creatures covered, we have spells covered. We're doing all right. Trophy. I will happily take a land. Uh, that allows me to Thalia's Defendant as well this turn, which is, I think, what I'm going to do. Uh, we need both to cast a Deputy Detention? Jesus. We have more white lands than blue lands, so we're going to go ahead and grab the island. Also cast Images, which we have not cut out of our deck. Thalia's Lieutenant. Let's us cast a second spell this turn, which is nice. All right, go. And then we got three drops in our hand. Tapped white land. That's a deal for me, dog. Um. Oh gosh, with deputy detention, it's so awkward. Like I want to just play this reflector mage and get to the beatdowns. Get me to the beatdowns. I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to play it. We're just going to play it. Alright, here we go. This thing. We're going to try to aggro him out. Try to get under him. Even though this Reflector Mage is not getting value, we have plenty of answers to, like, Jarmogoyfs and stuff. Oh, dude. I don't, I don't know. Stack this stuff. Make it. Stack it however you want it. Stack it. Now stack it. Feel good. <laughs> Stack it. Now stack it real good. Alright, we can't get Damnation to this turn, which is a pretty big plus to this whole play. Uh, we can get Damnation next turn, though, so we're going to hold everything. Combat. Can you animate this thing yet? You can. So we need to be able to 3-3. Three, three. Uh, pretty willing to trade the Reflector Mage for Shambling Vent if they want to fetch Shock for it. Not interested in getting a creature eaten. Take a billion. Eat the vial. Kind of wanted to cut a vial in this match. I probably should have done that over one of the creatures we cut. They get the fetch. To five. They might have the damnation here, which would kind of suck. Path. Target Thalia. Okay. Yes. Planes. Thank you for the lands. This is why second basic is also good too. Like now if they wrath me, I can still cast Deputy Detention. 
which is nice. Get damnation. Okay. Play a land. You got it. Mantis Rider. On time. Come on, Mantis Rider. Unclaimed territory. I'm going to hold that in case they have Lily on the wheel. <laughs> Their plan is just attack with Shambling Vent. We can pretty handily beat that. Tireless Tracker. That will get munched. Yes. Metal Image. Oh, what's the most common removal spell in this deck? I don't know. I feel like the answer is Fatal Push. Name Fatal Push. I'm feeling like they have a Fatal Push. Make a clue. They're probably gonna fetch a basic here. Probably like a white basic. Make a clue. Oop. Vile is a bad top deck. Correct. Did you not take out Vile? I did not. Launch good vials so you can pack the deck with more creatures. Yeah, vials bad top deck. They can just like leave me with it. Yeah, I don't know. They've been through a path and a push. I feel like the fact they have a fetch land makes me want to like play around push, but they might have more paths. I don't actually know. Maybe they have path. What do you have? I put a bunch of creatures in play. Unfortunately, they can block. Although, does, does it say no land? Yeah, that sucks. Really on the last hope, it doesn't kill anything. Okay. I see. Take this up to three so we can instant speed off this deputy. Yes. Horizon Canopy. This is where I get punished for holding this claim territory, I believe. Um. I think this lets me cast everything in my deck. Very ready to be wrong. Thalia. It's not shabby. Dies to last hope. Um. Deck you. What you doing? It's path tilts. Nope. All right, so we can like instep. I guess we can just like kill this now. Hmm. White, white, kill this now. Thalia. Thalia. I'm just gonna like dump all my stuff and call it a day. Boop, boop, go. Try to get to a spot where they are going to die to my stuff. They've drawn a numerous amount of removal spells. Not as bad versus Amazon, that is true. We don't get K commanded into oblivion. This is a second donation. That would be pretty good. Up to K. Pretty ready to call this one. We have drawn a sufficient number of spot removal spells to my lots of lands. Yeah, I think we can call this one a day. I think I'm just like gain some life with shambling that next turn. Go to five, we attack with thing. I think we're sufficiently dead. I think continuing to play this game is probably a waste of time. Here's like multiple Mantis Riders in a row. Yeah, I don't think I was getting there. 
Uh, uh, put a well, I'll try to send collector on my deck. I don't know. We're gonna try. When do you play around sweepers? You kept stuff in hand, but not now. Um, I don't know. I play around sweepers when I think I can. Um, ideally, you could play around sweepers forever, right? But like, um, that deck plays like one to two damnations usually, and I thought the folly was gonna be able to keep them off it long enough for me to just like get under them. But then I like drew a bunch of lands and died. Like I was fine playing into it that hard because I got them to a low enough life total that I think I could have, like, if I'd drawn some more creatures, I could have stabilized, which I think we saw that, right? Like, they went to four, and I drew, like, three lands in a row and died. Um, well, that's not true. I didn't draw them in a row, but you, you get what I'm saying. I drew, like, three lands out of the next, like, five cards and, like, drew pretty anemic creatures. Anyway, this hand's fantastic. Um, and, like, just ended up dying. So it's, like, it's fine. I think, I don't think I should have held back more because holding back more just means that, like, the Damnation, then that Liliana just eats more things. I don't know. I think I played to draw a couple more creatures and didn't. And that's what happened there. <clears throat> and they also drew a lot of spiral missiles. Like, if you notice, like, even though they damnationed me, they used, like, a trophy, a push, two paths, and a decay. So, like, what the hell? You know? Uh, I can jam this Sin Collector, or I can go this Thalia. I'm pretty happy with both of these lines, so I think I'm just going to lead on this. I just want to get. I just want to get out of them, and we'll send collector later. To, like the later we send collector, the more likely we are to, to hit the um, the card that we care about called damnation. Also, like Thali is pretty good against the uh, stupid. Yeah, maybe we're about to get pushed. We are. That will pass priority. Push that. Sure. Okay. Very interesting. More likely we already hit damnation. That feels pretty good. Trading even on mana there feels nice. Not getting two for one always feels good. Is this like a confidant? What is this? Charmed wife? That sounds like a good reflector mage target. Um, white. Blue. White. Maybe I'm supposed to actually just put Mantis Rider in play. Eh. I don't want them having board presence. I think them having board presence is extremely bad for me. Like, they've already fetched Shocked a bunch of times, which, like, makes me think their life total is low enough that, like, I can maybe punk them out with this Mantis Rider if they have to, like, answer these creatures on board and, like, can't just, like, block. Tarma Goofy, thank you much for the subscription with Twitch Prime. I really appreciate it. Make sure you send me a, uh, a subscriber deck list and that I can play this month. You can DM it to me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. I don't really care. Whatever your heart desires. The question is, do we Sin Collector here, or do we Mantis Rider? And I think the answer is we Sin Collector. I kind of want to attack first and see what's up. Hmm. Nah. Let's see what's up. I'm Sin Collector. Okay, take your Damnation. Do you have Damnation? Not. In fact, I have no targets. That sucks. Well, this is actually pretty good for me, I think. Because I don't really care about any of these cards. They're odd ones, though. No targets. It sucks that we whiffed. But I guess we're pretty happy to see that. Because Mantis Rider is going to fly over everything that's going on there. And like the Liliana of the Veil, I just like could not care less about... If they could even cast it, they go to seven here, and like Mantis Rider, I think is gonna finish this game. If they don't pick off my double hierarch, they're pretty dead. What is this? Inoffensa? It's pretty good. Actually, it's not true, it's not very good at all. Human. Wait, am I supposed to name human in this? Yeah, whatever, we'll just name human. Red, blue, white. Here's a Mantis Rider. Now the question is, do we... Oh, they don't want to play Magic anymore. Where are you going? Your inoffensive was going to block my Mantis Rider. All right, fine. We beat Abzan. I think those decks are pretty good matchups for us. Um, any of the, like, plenty of much creatures to play decks are just, like, intrinsically very good against those decks. 
My dredge opponent was upset because I won game one with burn. Yeah, that's pretty repulsive. Obviously, you have the problem in a randomized card game. What's our record now? We are now two and one. Our loss being to me being, I don't know, maybe aggressive against Infect, but we lost Infect. We beat whatever the last deck was, and we beat just now whatever that deck was. Abzan. What was the deck before before Abzan? Ooh, was Infect into... Titan Shift. We beat Titan Shift. Uh, this hand is fantastic. What are these hands like earlier? We're just like... Drawing these heaters now. This hand is just great. My opponent's mulliganing. Teradier. Infect seems kind of rough for humans. Net jogging, back when we... Uh, yeah, you're right, Janky Who. Um, back when we played um, Staticaster, I think Infect was actually a pretty fine matchup. Because you had played Staticaster and you played Buglers to find them. And that's just, like, really good against Infect. All right. Who man? Always play the vial first in this kind of situation unless you have a turn two Mantis Rider and you know it's the mirror. That is the only time for the record that I can think of that I would play Hierarch over Vile in this kind of context of hand. If I know it's the Mirror, I'll play Hierarch first and then play Mantis Rider. Because I think the Mirror has a lot of who sticks the first Mantis Rider. And so I think Vile would just not matter that much. So it sounds like bad, but trust me. The Mantis Rider is like what matters. Is this Infect again? Okay, no, this is Affinity. Too many Inkwamp Nexuses running around. Are we just going to like die? Do you just have like turn one Infinity Mana? What the hell is this? You have a hardened scales? Did you want to cast, I guess? Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. It's just casual three cards in hand. No targets with Kite Seal Freebooter. This game's going my way. I would love to use either Rouse ability. Oh, fantastic. Um. This is kind of awkward. I'm going to put this into play. Getting this out of Ballista range is really important to me. Because I think this card is going to be one of the ways we win this game. If we win this game. We're probably not going to win this game. This matchup's really hard. Ugh. Hey, we get, a, we get a scales. We're owning. We're owning. They have Blink Moth Hanger back. I can beat that. We can beat Blink Moth Hanger back. Okay. Okay. We can beat this. They can put a hanger back on one. Oh my god, that was such a fucking good draw. What the shit? No. We're gonna die. Maybe we're not gonna die. That's a pretty good draw too. Hmm. Verde. Verde is Spanish for green. Alright, we can bounce stuff. God, this card is going to be a beating. Um Combat Attack. <sighs> we need to get them into die to malcontents range. So that's what we're gonna try to do. They have this stupid thing. Hangerback Walker. What is this? Why are you producing white mana? Stop. Hangerback on one. Ghost becomes a hangerback on two. Stuff is happening. Uh, don't really want to do anything with this Phantasm image yet. So we're just going to on top. And we're going to put this on three, I think. Yes. Reflector Mage. We just pick both things up. But they make a big Infector. Can we... Are we going to die to that Infector? That Infector becomes a, like, 3-3 three, three or whatever. So we bounce, bounce, slam. They put counters on this and this. We don't care. Um, we hit them for a lot. I like bounce, bounce, slam. Blue. Reflector Mage. Alright, we're going to bounce this Hanger Back Walker. Okay. Hmm. Bounce, bounce, slam. 
That was my nickname in high school. Is there any reason to wait? I'm trying to think of a reason to wait. Any reason to wait? What you guys coming up with? I can animate. I got nothing. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way, Steel Overseer! Get out the way! Yep, do the thing where you make it bigger. It's bigger. It's all kinds of bigger. So big. Cool. Combat. Hit you for at least a billion. And by a billion, I mean six. And I think they're dead to just double Malkadence next turn. Malkadence is nice in this matchup. Animal noises on a tax tab. <laughs> now that's next turn when we play these two dick bags. No plays. Bold move, Cotton. I like the part where you died. Who? No. Yes. Wait. This one. Yes. This thing. You. Are they dead yet? Can I just attack with everything? Whatever, I'm just done thinking about it. Who? Where are you going? Who? Where are you going? I don't understand. Heart and scales. You're supposed to be so good against humans. Humans is unplayable. You're supposed to be bodying me. I'm supposed to die. What are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you from? Who you know? What kind of car are you in? Whatever, whatever the rest of the song goes. Do this thing too. We've not brought any of these seven cards in my own <laughs> in yet. <laughs> I've had like an eight card sideboard this whole time. Oh, I'm not a huge fan of these high numbers. Although we haven't played Dredge or any Burn or anything yet, so maybe that's just good. Maybe that's why we're winning so much. All right, apparently this card's bad. So it's Doolin. Doolin says that card bad. Doolin also say that card bad too. Doolin says sideboard like that. Bring these cards in. Take. The Thalia's and the Freebooters out. That is what Doolin's article says, so we're going to do it. Because we're this is Doolin's stream. 13 damage to the dome. Stop winning. This community are losing. Dismember. Cool. What happened, opponent? 66 cards. Remember to cut. What do you mean? What's wrong with, what's wrong with 66 cards? This hand is a convincing mulligan. This hand sucks. Keep it. Fuck. Sure, it's a creature. We're going to try the tried and true play a bunch of shit aggro plan. Are they just like putting a bunch of crap into play turn one again? That would be quite frustrating. Ugh. Who man? Okay. Okay, I believe you. We're going to try the go bigger than hardened scales affinity plan. It's not very good, but it's a plan. All right, they're going to play their steel over here, and we're going to die to it. That's fine. That's okay. Oh, God. Puke. Puke! Hmm. I see. You ever feel dead as shit? I feel dead as shit occasionally. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well. Here's a two-minute champion of the parish. Is this good? What do you mean, no? Go! I believe this is going to be the tried and true die to walking ballista handily. Maybe the sand would have been really good on the play. Probably should have just kept all getting. What do you got? What you got? A ravager. Right. I think I think we're right on here. Yeah, we'll see if we draw a knight of autumn. We will see if we draw a knight of autumn. I'm not blocking that in a million years. Alright, cool. This is friendly or con? Net jogging, this is friendly. I always play friendlies because I'm a very friendly guy. That is fine. You can put a billion counters and stuff. That is fine. All of this is fine. I'm okay with everything happening here. Alright, cool. Alright. Maybe they won't know how this works. That'd be kind of nice. Get rid of that. Oh, looks like they don't. They 
they very much do not know how this works, which is quite nice. It's really nice. Because it means I get two Phantasm Elements this next turn. And exile this. See, we had a chance in this game. We had a chance all along. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never mind. Dead as shit again. Remember the part where I'm dead? I'm really dead. Yeah, hit me for approximately a billion, if I did the math right. You trying to see if you can kill me? Can you kill me? I don't think you can. But you can get me pretty close to dead, right? 8... 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, maybe you can kill me. Well, this game sucks. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. To Xaxes. Draw a card. Yeah, we were dead. Shit, that game. All right, fine. Fine. I died. I'm dead. What do you mean they don't know how it works? Dead jogging. Uh, if they killed my, I think I think they, what they should have done is just like sacked a few things, put a bunch of counters on Ballista, and then just shot my uh, deputy detention. And if they shoot it, then it doesn't exile the Ballista. So that was kind of what I was talking about when I said I don't think they know how it works. This card, this hand is actively good. Maybe we can win a game. Who man? Okay, I believe you. Go. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, no. What the fuck? Yo, dog. Yo. Yo. Why is that in your deck? I hate you. <sighs> yeah, we're never casting this. Like, when I say never, I mean never. Probably supposed to name Walking Ballista with this, but fuck it. Steel Overseer. That is acceptable. Uh, oh, we're getting close. Hmm. Should I freebooter them? I guess I could freebooter them. If they have a Ballista, though, I'm dead as shit. Wait. So we're going to Metally Mage first. We're going to Metally Mage before playing Kites of Freebooter, which just feels very intuitive. King Ballista. Okay. Always yield to these. Alright, we're trying that whole get bigger than them plan that worked so well last time. Spoiler alert, it didn't work so well last time. Oh, damn. Big damn. So they can animate this, put a counter on two things, and make a 1 1. Fuck. Oh, now they can just make a 1 1. Big fuck. Alright. It's kind of bad. Make two two twos is what you can do. That's what you got. Alright. Deputy Detention. Can we cast this? No. Maybe I should name Blizzard. Nice mana base. Very well played. Well played. Well played. Counter here, counter here, double block, kill this. Gosh, this sucks. Two, 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 two. I'm just so unbelievably dead. This is gross. If we draw land, we can target the servo and eat all the servos. Which is the only reason I'm continuing playing. Because we can... Eating all the servos, I think, might keep us in this game. Now we should have no hope of ever winning this game. Yeah, this matchup sucks. This matchup sucks. We are dead. This is smelling like a clean 3-2 kind of league. Yeah, whatever. God, puke. <laughs> 
get you the land too. Active hate piece for the matchup. Active cyborg card. Cyborg card. Yeah, we're dead. If we knight and kill Overseer, they activate it, make a 1-1, one, one, put a billion things into play, and we never attack again. And they sack it two, over, uh, two arc bound. We had no hope. Maybe with Buglers. <laughs> Ned jogging. I think Bugler is actively much worse than casting Malcontents in that matchup. Casting Malcontents is very good, because it means we get to win without combat in that matchup. So it does help the Hardened Scales Affinity matchup quite a ton. Alright. We got a good hand. We got a good hand. This one's looking good. Human. How much better was Shardless Agent? What does Shardless Agent do? Bob the Builder 24. My poor, my poor opponent. We've reached the part of the league where we play against the person that thinks Celestial Colonnade is a modern playable card. That's very sad. It's very sad. Alexa, play Despacito. I, too, used to think that once. And then I took a conflagrate to the face. It was really sad. Listen to play. Fortunately, this is a very good matchup for us, typically. I am of the opinion that our control matchup is great. Light up for 12. All right, Drake, I've got a deck list for you. Uh-oh. All right, you sound way too excited for me to be excited. What you got? Isn't Bob the Builder 24 some pro? I don't know. Who is it? This boy is literally the best performing deck behind KCI. Yeah, that's because it's the most played deck. Everybody everybody wants to play this card because it makes you feel so smart and warm and fuzzy inside. It's really sad, actually. Why, why are you thinking? Yes, put a counter. Uh, we're going to play this a little patiently. Just gonna pass. Maybe do a stop on their draw step. I don't know. They hate it like you. Um, if they have a lightning bolt, I think I want to activate this here. So I think I'm gonna go and activate this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna activate this. I don't know if they're trying to cast a cantrip or what, but oh, vomit. All right, let's get a nice snippy here. This is nice to know about, actually. A click probably would have blown me out. Okay. Take cryptic. Alright, please don't draw well. The official trip nip. Thank you much for the follow. I appreciate you the best. The best players are playing a deck. That means the best players are playing arc lights. What do you mean? It's also 100% pure high octane gasoline. Alright, let's see. What do you got? Velociraptor's Druid Evolution deck. Devoted Druid. Deskwatch Recruiter. Shalai. Good. Boop. Oh, wow. None of these are... Actually, none of these are being played anymore, right? Alright, boop. What what is this? Patiently why? Play rate does not equal win rate. That's true. What celestial call it? It's a Fantasaurus guild gate most of the time. That's very true. Very, very true. Alright, they have a Dillion click here. That's fine. Uh we're gonna take this up to three. This is weird. I don't know how much to play around. What are they doing? Are they just like clicking me now? Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I didn't, was, like, now it's like kind of awkward what to take. Vorskaiser, thank you much for the follow. I appreciate you the best. 
Just kidding. If the average player playing it performs much worse than the best players, making the deck look vomit. We're going to wait for the draw step. Yeah, net jogging. In case they had a cantrip and, like, that was their only card, I, like, kind of wanted to take their cantrip. This, it, it might have been pretty bad taking their card tail. <laughs> they took Reflector. Okay, can't take this up to three now. Hopefully draw a land. Lol. Oh, my God. Puke. I'm about it. <laughs> Tilt. Uh, we know about what? Teferi? Yeah, we know about like a Teferi and a pile of lands. Combat, check this, this, this. So if they block Kitesail Freebitter, they get their Cryptic Command back. They can't cast it because of Thalia. And they take. Five nine, yeah, this is fine. This attack with the freebooter is fine. We also have a meddling mage that we can play next turn. I think they're gonna block the mantis rider and take seven, go to eight. Yeah, this block doesn't make any sense. I think not with Thali in hand. Like they have to draw terminus here no matter what. Then I guess that's their plan. Then like that block is fine. No, it's not. It's the block's still not fine. You want to conserve your life total. Yeah, that block made no sense. Okay, cool. Back on board. Back on board. That block doesn't make any sense. Is that true most decks, though? Obviously, various degree, but still. Yeah, I mean, good players playing decks well is always going to look impressive. Like, you know, what's what's an example? Like, Javier Dominguez, whatever the world champion is, playing Azorius Guildgate in his deck is going to look far more impressive than FNM player playing Azorius Guildgate in their deck. Same with Arclight. You know, professional Magic player playing Arclight versus FNM player playing Arclight. You know, whatever. You know, it's just... Decks are always going to look more impressive in the hands of pros. I just don't think that means that they're very good. Like, just because pros are playing them, like... I don't know, there's some people that just, like, feel like controls within their range more than something else. They're just going to play control no matter what, when realistically they're just basically handicapping themselves. That is kind of my opinion, though. So, I can't really prove that with facts or really much reasoning. It's just, like, a lot of kind of thought-out things that make sense to me. What am I playing against again? Chess guy? Oh, jeez. All right, I think that is on the sideboard guide of Dylan's article on SCG. Azorius. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Get out of my deck. Even though they have Baneslayer Angels usually, we have Dismembers and Deputies for those. All right. Boop, boop, boop. All right, put these in my deck. Does he want Cabal? He wants Cabal. Why do you want Cabal? They do not have a ton of good cards in this matchup. We have to bring this to Smember too. Why are we not bringing this to Smember? Why are we not bringing this to Smember? This member's great. Cutting a deputy and bringing in this member. Actually, I'm cutting a Malcontents. This card's like cheeks, right? Get out of the deck. Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Oop, I have I've spoken about modern control decks. Chat is alive. Alright. Let's see what we got. Even worse, opponent is on Jeskai Guy means they're likely not playing the best board wipe in Terminus. Yeah, that's true. Uh, official trip nip. They're much more likely to be playing, like, uh, what's it called? Supreme Verdicts. Which, Supreme Verdicts is still pretty good. The deck is easy to play because a lot of times micro decisions don't come up as mattering. I don't know. I. I think a lot of times the burn micro decisions matter more because there's less of them. Like, I think that's like a common misconception with decks is like people think decks that have a lot of micro decisions are like, I don't want to say, I don't know, saying easier or harder feels wrong. But like the point is like the micro decisions in burn are oftentimes kind of hard to catch because they're usually sequencing based. And a lot of times they're the most punishing. And so whatever that's worth to you, like, I don't know how easy they are to spot is completely subjective. So trying to like make claims about deck difficulty. There's a whole PV article about it and like how he individually like had to define deck difficulty and then went rating off of that. But deck difficulty I think is goes deeper than even what he was talking about. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be human. Let's play this stupid either well that they probably can't beat. Anyways, so yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying in Lightmaster. It's just the uh, I think it's an important point to make because like I don't think I don't think any deck in Magic is easy to play. Like Magic's not an easy game. 
Um, this is really awkward. Yeah, I'm not feeling like getting blown out today. I guess we're just passing. Which is fine. I actually don't mind taking draw steps in this matchup. I think we're favored as the game goes to infinity. Like, we just want to tax their removal spells. But, um... Where was I going with this? I don't remember where I was going with this. I'm just going to keep playing this match. The point is, like, even, like, I played Boggles at an open and an invitational last year. And neither times did I think it was easy to play. I'm getting static caster. That's absolutely rancid. All right. You know they play this in their sideboard. Kind of sucks. We're probably going to die to this. Yeah, I'm not sure a two image hand ever beats the is it static caster. Whatever, we can turn it into a lightning bolt, I guess. There's like bolt here, snipe this, pass back, and I have no no permanence in play. Yeah, this game's gonna be pretty infeasible to win. This is odd. The way they've played this is very weird. I think we're dead. I was not ready for that. Okay, here's a cabal. Extend! Make another Mantis Rider. You pick that one off. If this picks the other one off and I'm just wrong about how this works, I'm just going to concede on the spot. Alright, I'm not. Yeah, they like literally just got to like 3 for 1 or something. Is it Static Aster? Probably just did. But I'll keep playing for the sake of it. Train! I should have another skill something. Let's try to get extra points for playing chess guy and black green X. Who no kidding? I don't like a ball there. Galaxy brain. I wanted to get value out of my images. That's why I've been playing this way. Uh, net logging. Nice opponent is salty. Yeah. Other times they get weaponized when an opponent is salty. Yeah, that's true. Like, I'd recommend someone learn modern by playing Burn or Tron before I told them to play Dust Shadow. Doesn't mean they play Burn very well. Why doesn't Setacaster affect the other Mantis? Because it got sacked as part of the cost. Um, Sebastian. Like, it didn't deal a damage to the other one because it got sacked as part of the cost. It wouldn't get targeted anyway, it would just have a damage marked on it, but. Um, no. Did I just do the wrong one? Seven, seven mana sources, ain't it, chief? Mm, now that I know they have Is It Static Cash in their deck, I feel like I'm supposed to have like this card in my deck. I gotta have like this in my deck. That's pretty bad, though. Whatever. Anyways, so yeah, I mean, any player new to modern, you're gonna want them to play something proactive. But that's just because it doesn't require knowledge. It requires sequencing knowledge and fundamentals of magic knowledge. It doesn't require knowledge of the format. They're different skills. That's what's important to note about like all of the different archetypes. The reason people identify with archetypes and like prefer archetypes over others is because they have different play styles. This hand feels bad, but I think I'm supposed to keep it. Like a turn to Thalia is nice. But if we draw some lands, we're gonna die. 
Um, where was I going with this? I keep losing my train of thought talking about this. But yeah, like d decks are diff are hard for different reasons. Like they they flex different muscles. Just like draft is different from constructed or sealed is different from draft. Like they all require different skills and different archetypes require different skills. Damn, we're dead. Although I guess we have a canopy. Maybe we're not dead. Um, So, but yeah, you would you would point someone to a linear deck that way they can just flex their knowledge of the, like their ability to play the game without having to be punished by their lack of knowledge of the format. All right, you have a bolt. Okay. Damn, another land. Jeez, man. Uh, I think I want to aggressively crack this. All right, well, we flooded and died. That sucks. Bolt this. <laughs> we got to make a little Thalia. Thalia action there. This is a stata daddy. Don't be a stata daddy. Search for Escanta. That is fine with me, dog. All right. I think I'm going to leave this on two. Yeah, I might take it up to three. I'll take this up to three. Um, well, maybe we're still in it. Oh, my gosh. Cycle two canopies, drawing two more mana sources off of them. All right. Yeah, I suppose. That is a way to die. Doesn't feel very good. Blech. Yep. All these things happen. Always no, always yield. Oh. Champion. You're on time, pal. Um. We're gonna attack first. Yay, we didn't get two for one by the electrolyzer. I'm sorry, three for one by the electrolyze. Go us. Loyal. Loyal. White champion. Go. That should have helped us. Because there's no beagler on our deck, so there's no way we can chain. I guess getting the one damage is like fine. But if they have like Teferi talk here, I feel really stupid. <laughs> Fair. They didn't even talk, they don't even care. Oh yeah, we're unbelievably dead. These games have not gone our way, which is really frustrating. I think this matchup is actually pretty good for us, but like, not if this happens. Like, we kept a mana source heavy hand, and we've seen 7, 8, 9, 10, so we're gonna die. This is like, just the worst. Uh, I don't know which vials this, sure. Sure. Combo. This is worth continuing playing. Maybe their hand is atrocious. Maybe their hand is all lands. We attack to fairy? Yeah, they're at such a high life level attack to fairy. When they bolt it, we will concede. They have pulled the decided to not bolt it. <laughs> Good old Thalia image and yeah. Feels bad. Janky who thank you much for the follow, I appreciate you the best. Stack just needs faith, so no kidding. Yeah, we're Sev dead, we are dead as shit. Alright, yeah, we both played hard. Blech. 
Ugh. All right. So, wowza. Wowza, wowza. The old 2-3. Um, humans. Humans, humans, humans. What can I say about humans? Love the deck, obviously. I don't get why we're trying to play fair anymore. Um, modern is well past the point that fair decks, I think, are reasonable. I've, I, that's what been what half the conversation of this video has been a kind of about is I think that fair decks are not reasonable choices in modern. Um, not if you care about winning the tournament. If you care about having fun, if you care about playing something that you feel you can maybe outplay some of your opponents with, then uh, maybe fair decks are for you. Um, but if you're looking to win a large tournament, I think that playing fair decks including fair noble hierarch decks, it's not really on the menu anymore. Um, especially with modern as wide open as it is, the things you have to do to humans in order to make it good against things like arc light and dredge, I guess at this point, I think maybe make it to not good in other matchups. Um, this list in particular, I have a few problems with. Um, I think I played legitimately with a, an eight card sideboard, which is a big part of what happened here. Like I brought none of these cards in ever, 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 ever. I get the dredge and like burn. They're good. But like, those are two matchups. I would start, this is what I played at whatever. Um, I would start by shaving one on both of these. I think this is, I think this is incorrect. This card having one power and being impossible to cast means I don't want three of them. Um, I think I want basically anything else, probably a third knight, because there's so much word and stuff like that going around right now. And this card felt appropriately dismal against control. I was incredibly underwhelmed. So I would want a second sin collector. The things, yeah, I would kind of revert to basically what I was kind of doing before, where like this is a either dismember or another knight. This is uh, something good against fair decks. This is something good against fair decks. Um, any format of card. We'll take a uh, Whirler Rogue. Sure, we'll say Whirler Rogue. Like, I would play my Whirler Rogues. Love that card. I would play um, either a Knight or a Dismember, and I would play a Sin Collector. Like, I if I had those cards on my sideboard, I would have played with a, what, 10 card sideboard at least throughout this league. And I think that's significantly better. These cards are just a little too, even though they're very impactful, they're a little too narrow. Um, I also think that. I missed Bugler greatly. Like, we lost to, like, Control and, like, didn't really even feel like I had a chance of, like, drawing the Bugler into, like, a Bugler chain with Image. Images just felt worse. Like, our images were just not as high impact um, because this, like, they were against uh, Affinity where we got to shoot them to death and game one with Malcontents, but, like, against Control, they just weren't. Um, so, I think I would revert to something closer to what I have been playing with before. Um, I was just kind of, like... No, it's a small sample size. It is only five matches. But, like, I think how narrow these cards were was definitely demonstrated given that we played a different deck each time and just wanted to touch none of them. So I think more variety in our sideboard would be heavily rewarded, especially with Buglers to function as cantrips to find a lot of those cards. So I think that's how I would change the list given how we played if I was just going to play humans this weekend. After playing humans, the... Difference in power level was incredibly noticeable. Every turn with Arclight, I generally felt like I had a sequence of draws that won me the game, and like I could just kill people out of nowhere. I could like generally, I could kill people on three, turn three sometimes. Like I didn't really in the leagues I played, but like you can, and that's like absurd. Like the deck is just on a different power level from what humans is doing. And so when a lot of people like ask me like, why Drake, why aren't you playing like the decks that you like playing in modern, like Titan Shift and humans and stuff like that. We are kind of reaching a point with Modern where the way it is now, Arclight is such a cut above everything else you could be doing in the format that not playing Arclight seems near criminal. Um, and I think that is going to be my conclusion. And I'm probably, as of this stream, going to lock in Arclight for SCG Regionals. Um, that deck is very good, has been consistently good, and I think is going to probably dominate every single regionals. It's probably going to dominate the Modern Open next weekend. It's probably going to dominate up until something's done. Either Modern Horizons comes out or 
um, they banned something or whatever, you know. But the point is, I I don't know. I don't even know. Like I used to wonder what Phoenix's good matchups were, given how people talked about the deck. They acted like there's so many bad matchups, but like a lot of the decks, you just have the raw power level to just kill them anyway, and that seems really really good. All right, what have I missed in chat? What's up, Alabama fan? Oh, twelve. All right, I've missed like a ton of words. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Let's catch up on chat real quick. Another humans league after this one. RNG has been bad for us. Eh, I don't think there's a lot that we could prove. Like, yeah, we could keep grinding our head into the ground, but like ignoring our record, like not talking specifically about the way it played out and more of talking about the way the deck felt, the way the deck played and how like your, your feelings and emotions playing the deck. Um, I think that it is noticeably less powerful. And I have more experience with humans. Like, it's not even saying that, hey, Drake, you know, you're better with Arc Light because you, you know, whatever, cantrips or whatever, you're just sequence, you, you're just better with the deck. I don't think that's true. I think I'm actively, I think I played humans better in this league than I played Arc Light in the league I played today. And the fruits of my labor were not nearly as high. Like, the games with Arclight that we lost, we were kind of close to winning. The games we lost with humans, a lot of cases we were hopelessly drowned. Uh, and I think that demonstrates more of what I'm talking about. Like, I could jam humans all night, and, like, you know, I'm a fairly reasonable Magic player and can probably 5-0 on stream. You know, I could eventually be like, see, look, the deck's good. But, like, at the end of the day, all of these are small sample sizes. So you, you're not going to get enough data off of your record alone to give you a significant conclusion. Like, you can't just look at your record without watching these games I just played and be like, Drake... I think the deck. I'm gonna make conclusions from this. Like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the deck's bad because I two three. That doesn't make sense. I'm not gonna say the deck's good because I five would Like if I five would with a leak, because that doesn't make sense. All of these are not reasonable conclusions to draw from the record. However, given the games we played and the way they played out, reasonable conclusions would be that what we're doing here is much less powerful than what ArcLight was doing in the previous in the previous leaks. Given the like. You know, how, how we felt, what we were doing, like our potential for, per turn, it just really demonstrated a difference. And that is something you can draw based on, you know, your very small sample sizes. These are like the kinds of things you should be drawing from small sample sizes of testing. You can make a lot of value out of very little when it comes to playtesting, but you can't do it if you're drawing conclusions from the wrong things. And that's something that I see a lot of Magic players do. Um... A lot of people won't even try a deck unless they've seen it 5-0 or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's just, like, kind of unreasonable. Like, you should be willing to try things. You should be willing to try new things. You should be willing to do lots of stuff and draw conclusions based on how powerful what you're doing feels. And that's, I don't know, that's that's how I do a lot of my testing. I don't grind leagues into the ground. Like, the difference between me and, like, a lot of you guys in the chat as far as, like, how much I test is probably comparable. Like, I probably play about as much as you guys, maybe less. I, I mean, I don't have a ton of time to play. Generally, when I'm testing for a tournament, I play four leagues at most, five sometimes, but not really. Like, I usually use streaming as a method of testing, so you guys get to see a lot of it, a lot of the testing I do. So, like, it's, I mean, I probably play more leagues off, so probably, like, five-ish total. Like, the point is, I think that I don't use a lot of testing to draw conclusions, and a lot of times I think my conclusions I draw are, if not correct very close and that's why i mean i try to do a wrap-up on all these deck videos i mean i've kind of gone on a little rant here but like i think the point i'm trying to make here is that i think humans is still a good choice i think humans would still be a good deck to play there are some changes i would want to make because i feel like there was some too narrow over cyber cards and that's what i spent the time after this league discussing but i think that well, if I want to win the tournament, playing humans over Arclight is an incorrect decision. And I think that conclusion is almost indisputable. All right, back to reading chat. Small, small simple sizes. People make broad assumptions all the time. And I think you are being spot on with your points. Well, thank you, Sevdem. I really appreciate it. Burn beats Arclight, though. Top tier seek. I don't even know if that's true. Like, the, I played, I 5 would a league yesterday with uh, Arclight and played Burn twice in that league. And I 2 owed it both times. 
Now, the players, you can make arguments about the players may not have been as good, or they may have drawn kind of bad, but the point is the matchup can't be that bad, because across two different matches, you know, I managed to win, and, like, they, they had functional hands. They didn't just drop, die. They, you know, made their first two to three land drops. They cast spells. The games were close, but, like, in the end, like, the deck was powerful enough to just put a bunch of phoenixes in play or flip an, a thing in the ice or whatever, and, like, that was sometimes just good enough. And, like, their creature draws are pretty bad against Dark Light. If you don't have, like, um, what's it called? Like, Eidolon, too, then, like, you... I think your win percentage goes down a lot, and you don't really have cantrips to find it. So, like, all of that... Not not saying the matchup's good. Like, I'm not going to draw the conclusion that, hey, I didn't lose a game against it across two matches yesterday, therefore the matchup's good. That's dumb. Perfect example of what I was just talking about. I don't think the matchup's good. But I don't think the matchup's horrific. I don't think the matchup's unwinnable. I think the Dredge matchup is actively worse. Having played it today, and the games didn't feel close at all, despite the fact I had, like, removal spells and some of the stuff my deck's trying to do, the games didn't even feel remotely close, the games yesterday felt close. So the answer is probably their favorite in the matchup. They're probably, like, what, I don't know, ballpark at 60, 65%, whatever, you know, that maybe that's too egregious, like, 55, 60% favored. But, like, Dredge feels harder than Burn based on the games I played both today and yesterday. And so, like, to say Burn beats Arclight, this is just, like, it's not true. Like, this isn't... this. We're not dealing with binaries here. We're dealing with percentages. And so, like, I don't think... I think Burn is worse against a lot of the rest of the format and is not even so convincingly good against Arclight. And Arclight isn't even a big enough portion of the metagame that, like, that is a reasonable reason to not play Arclight over humans, where humans is admittedly better against Burn. All right. Said those words, too. Arclight's playing two Dragon Claws on the board now. To be easy, I don't even know if I would do that. I don't even know if you need it. Um, I didn't. Pl I wasn't playing any. I never cast the card in the match. Um, I, I mean, I literally just did the Phoenix plan. I think it dilutes your deck. Like for an underpowered card, like you're putting underpowered sideboard cards in your deck to try to like that are narrow to try to beat a specific matchup. And I think that is terrible deck building. I think that is just horrible um, because like they're narrow, they're underpowered, and like you're better off just trying to do your game plan better. Like, just don't bring the card in at all. Don't dilute your deck with bad cards and just try to NASCAR them down. <laughs> Run them over. Play Phoenixes. Flip a thing in the ice. Kill them. The best burn hate is they're dead. <laughs> Phoenix and our thing in the ice are your burn hate because it kills them. And that's, that's that. Like, trying to, like, play terrible cards that are narrow, that don't play to your game plan in order to beat a specific matchup, I think is just awful deck building. I think Dragon's Call on your sideboard is not a good decision. All right. What else? I think playing non-looting deck right now is incorrect. I can get behind that uh, official trip nip. Above average. The above average draws an arc light and dredge can sometimes be good, so good that even the bad matchup is just full to them. That's true. That's, that's kind of what I was getting at there, official trip nip, is that like your good draws are still good enough. Arclight is the most played deck in paper and online at the moment of the last two months. I'm not sure I'm convinced the deck is overly powerful or just overly represented. Sevdim, I was actually kind of talking about this earlier. I would buy that if the there was a discrepancy between representation and win rate. And I think that Arclight isn't even that. Like, the reason it's most popular on Goldfish is because Goldfish takes top eights. But if you're looking at, like, um, day one tournaments, which we don't really have any data on, but, like, I don't know, just from gut feeling and looking around, not that many people want to switch decks. Like, not many people change decks in Modern. And so I don't think it's that heavily represented in Day 1 metagames, but it's very heavily represented in Day 2 metagames and in Top 8s. Like, it's won multiple tournaments. It always has multiple in Top 8. I don't think it's missed a Top 8 since it's, like, kind of broke out, right? And so, I mean, these are all things I'm making up on the spot. But, like, if, if we collected data based on what I have seen and what I've heard people saying and what have I, I've heard people talking about... I think that Arclight is popular. I don't think it's unpopular. I think it's popular. But I think its win rate is phenomenal. And I think that shows. And its win rate in the hands of the best players, like people like Ross Merriam, who've had like what back to back top eights with the deck, like that's kind of nuts. Um, and like, I don't know, Ely Cassis spiked the nope. It's just like the hands of the good players that can pilot the deck well. I think it's just shown a consistency that might be a little too good for modern. So that's those are words. Hi, Holy Crusader Zero. Can you give your opinion about humans versus Bant spirits? Which deck has the chance has better chance in modern in current modern circumstances dealing with Phoenix Tron and Dredge? Also, how about those two against each other? Alright. 
Uh, wow, we've got a lot of questions in chat today. You guys are active and awesome. I really appreciate this. Unfortunately, this means you guys on YouTube are getting to hear a bunch of my opinions and the video is going way longer. Um, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. Boom. Where do I start? Humans versus Banned Spirits. So I think Humans is definitively the better deck in Modern right now. I don't even think it's close. Humans is a much better deck in Modern right now. You're you're much lower to the ground. You have much more. You have much better proactive game plan, and you are. I think you're just a better deck. Like you're you're more mana efficient. Your things are higher impact. I think most of the time, and excuse me, and I think that um, your sideboard cards are just as good now that Casey is not around as as spirits are. Um, I think that. No kidding. Rebrand a podcast at this rate. No kidding. Um, let's see. It's dealing with Phoenix, Tron, and Dredge. So I think Phoenix is a better matchup for... I don't know. I think they're both close. Maybe it's a little... No, no. I, play, I played the matchup with Spirits. I think it's actually a better matchup for Humans because Humans has uh, more Thalias and they're in the main deck. And like, like I said, they're lower to the ground, so you have a better chance of kind of getting under them. And post sideboard, with especially when you have Beagler in your deck, it's pretty reasonable to grind out when they board into that blue red control deck I was kind of talking about earlier. It's very reasonable um, to outgrind the Phoenix deck after sideboarding with humans. So like, I think humans has a better like explosive potential in the matchup, and it also has like a better so chance of getting under them and a better chance of like grinding them out. Like the amount of times you get like your you know whatever your two mana creature gut shotted and against uh, spirits is like a little high for me and i think that yeah like just a lot of times they're trading so up on their lightning bolts and on even on their abrades that they're trading up on mana against spirits and that's so so bad in that matchup um tron i think is pretty bad for both decks i think it's close which one i think it's pretty negligible the difference I like humans a little bit better because I think they're faster. I think you, you have a better chance of just NASCARing, turn fouring Tron down. So I think humans is a little better. But that may actually just be my experience. Like I've played more humans versus Tron. I haven't played the Spirit Stack versus that much. And Dredge. I think humans is much, not much better against Dredge. I think the humans is, I think this is kind of one where it's close, I guess, truthfully. Because like Rest in Peace is good, but you have to draw them. Whereas like humans has a much better like just attack you game plan then like like your your sequence of draws where you don't have your specific hate cards are very good against dredge but i think ariok champion is such a player in the matchup like it, ariok champion is easily your best card and i think is close to a rest in peace on power level in your deck specifically like obviously like blue eye control can't sleep up ariok champion and be like oh this is as good as rest in peace but i think in humans like ariok champion is as high impact in the matchup as rest in peace is against dredge and that's a lot to say that's like a big statement to make and but I think it's true, and I think if you talk to Dylan Hand about it, he would agree. Like he and I have actually talked a lot about the Dredge matchup, and we think that our champion is pretty fucked up in the matchup. And I think that they're it's cl it's close, it's close in both. If you have Bugler in your deck, once again, you may notice a bias here towards Bugler. If you have Bugler in your deck, then I think you can find your Eric champions more consistently, and that makes you even better against um against Dredge. And I think at that point, it might actually push you over the edge because you have Cantrips and the. Uh, uh, spirits that can't find its rest in pieces off of their collected companies, and that's a that's a big deal. Like their cantrip, their cantrip, their selection piece can't find their hate piece, and that's that's a big deal. Whew, lots of words. And oh, last one, these versus each other. This is a weird one. So funny story. Columbus uh, earlier this year, team tournament played with Dylan Hand, Chad Harney. Back when KCI was still legal, they both played KCI. I played Bant Spirits. Um, I think I lost four times in that tournament. Um, once was to Amulet. Once was to a blue-red control deck. It was like a precursor to Phoenix. It was just kind of a thing in the ice deck. And I lost twice to humans. I was kind of rattled because I had always thought, and I had lost to spirits multiple times with humans on like on the human side of the spirits matchup. And then I played the, sp the human spirits matchup from the other side, and I just got browned. It was absurd. Now, I was lower on Reflector Mages than otherwise. Like, I was lower on Reflector Mages than I probably should have been. But I, I just got bodied. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? Twin and in. Thank you much for the follow. I appreciate it. The best. Also, Glacian1129. Thank you much for the follow. I appreciate it. You're the best. You're both the best. You can share the bestness. Um, but I just got browned. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I thought this deck was supposed to be good against spirits. 
I mean, it's supposed to be good against humans. Why, why am I getting browned? And after seeing the way the game's played out, like, you humans kind of just could get under you really well and had access to some more lords. And, like, just watching the other side play out, I think I kind of figured it out. And then the next time I picked up humans, I played against spirits in Worcester, where I top 16 uh, should have top 8 at tilt. But the point is, um, I top 16 and um, I played against humans, I mean, spirits in that tournament, I think one, at least once, definitely, definitely once, maybe twice. And, like, I just, like, convincingly beat it. It wasn't, like, insanely close. Like, it wasn't, like, I just browned them. It was very close. But, like, I think I executed a lot of the game plan I saw from the other side when I lost to it. Arctic Mebo, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it, girly. Um, oh, and also thank you for the raid of 17. I was about to close up for the night, but I appreciate the raid. How's it going? Cook the fourth. Look at all these people. Thanks for sharing, Drake. Really helpful tips. I'm answering questions, you asshole. Austin's such a dick. Anyways, so... All of this rambling to say, I think that humans is actually the one that's favored in the in the human spirits matchup, um, for whatever that's worth. Um, did you pass chemistry? I'm trying. In fact, I'm doing chemistry work right now. Chemistry in this academy. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I am. If you guys have any more questions about humans, feel free to ask them. I will do my best to answer them. Um, other than that, I'm gonna wrap the stream up. I really appreciate the raid, uh, Ali. I don't know why I'm not getting notifications for raids. I'm gonna have to go back and fix this again. Stream of OBS. Every time they update the software, it just like gets super flaky. At least I'm getting uh, follows and subscriptions and shit. Um, you can't just call a twelve year old a dick. Call. I can definitely call it whenever I want. He's my teammate. Um, but thank you all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys sticking around. If you like the content, jam that uh, follow button here on Twitch. It's the easiest way to support me and I'll let you know when I go live. If you're watching on YouTube, jam the subscribe button. Easiest way to support me on YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything. And we'll let you know when I post more videos. What value? Um, so if you want to hear more ramblings, I got you. Drake Sasser is a bully. Call. And uh, if you want to you find other ways to support me, there's been a scrolling list of sponsors beneath my face this whole time. Um, highly recommend checking their stuff out. There are links to all of their websites in the panels below and in the description if you're on YouTube, so you can check all their stuff out. Uh, Manatraders.com does want their cards back, so I need to give it back. They are my, uh, they are sponsor me and Team Nova sponsor this stream as well. Oh, thank you for the bits. Um, and they are the reason I get to test all these decks. I get to play all these decks for you guys and, uh, you know, just get to try out all the stuff and get better at magic. They, uh, I've been using their service for, what, like almost a year and a half, two years now, and I am incredibly impressed with it. They're constantly making changes, they're listening to you guys, and they are constantly updating the service to make it easier to use, more intuitive to use, and just like make it higher value for you guys. So I highly recommend checking it out. Use code TEAMNOVAMTG, 15% off your first three months. They're awesome. You can also check out their paper rentals too. Fantastic service. You can even get both. You can get a service that uses both online and paper cards insane value uh secondly the end games is a store in charlottesville that is uh the local game store for a couple of our uh, teammates and they've done a lot for us as a team um you know they've helped us with card availability issues like on week one standard they've helped us out with paying for some of the stuff so like they're they're great great shop really really suggest supporting a local game store they even have a online storefront so if you want to buy from them directly you can just go check out their wares you don't even have to buy anything it still supports me if you just go use their website check out what they got to offer you um like I said, the link to that is below. Uh, Inkling Customs, artist. She does the artist for Team Nova and the playmats, which I didn't show you guys. Holy cow. I've talked about it on stream like three or four times. Time to flex on you guys. Look at these playmats. Hold on. Ooh. Got a little tube for it, too. Look at this playmats. Inkling Customs. Insane. Ah. Anyway, they're gorgeous. They're awesome. You see all the Team Nova members playing with them. I love it. Um, anyway, she's fantastic. She's done a lot for the Magic community. You can check out her website also in the panel below or in the description and she makes a lot of like little tokens and stuff like that very reasonably priced or her art's all good highly recommend buying the stuff using it if you can't make it out to opens and gps where she is at and uh buy some of her stuff in person um last but not least we have hipsters of the coast uh i do write for them and so does a lot of team nova and so if you want to check out some of our other content you can check it out there on hipsters of the coast they also have other content for getting you better at magic and podcasts for you to listen to so you can go check out the website it doesn't cost you anything get you better at magic it's just good value everything's good value all our sponsors are good value that's why we that's why we represent them because they're good value and i know magic players are all about value so overall thank you very much i really appreciate everybody that stuck around and uh have a good night.